How's it going, Luke? Um, kind of one of the elder statesmen on the team now. Just what's that process been like finishing up last season and coming into spring where you're one of the guys that some of the younger guys come to for advice? Yeah. I mean, it, I think it's uh, – I've been that way for, you know, a couple years. I mean, it feels like I've been here for forever. Um, so – you know, a lot of those guys, the younger guys, look up to me, you know, as someone that just does the right thing, you know, day in and day out, whether it be in the building, in the meeting room, um, on or off the field. Um, you know, I always try to be a guy that, you know, some of those younger guys, the guys that are just coming in, kind of getting the hang of things, um, just being someone that they can come to, they can look up to. Uh, if they ever need anything, they know I'm always here. Um, and that, that don't – doesn't only go for the, the younger guys, but any of the old, other veterans and, and older guys as well. Um, they know I've got their back and would do anything to uh, to help them out as well. With a, another new offensive coordinator for you here, what's it been like getting to know another system and what are some of the similarities and differences from Coach Sat? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, once you're in, in one system, um, it, it's pretty easy to, to pick up and learn, you know, a, a new one. Um, so it, it's really just been getting the verbiage, um, you know, kind of translated over and uh, learning the, the new kind of the new things that maybe we didn't have last year or in the past. Um, but it's been a lot of fun so far. Um, and we're, we're just going to keep, you know, having more fun as it goes. But Coach Loggins has been awesome. Um, you know, he's a big ball of energy on the field. Um, he coaches us hard and um, he just wants us to play free and have fun. Um, we correct the, the mistakes when we're in the film room, um, but when we're out on the field, it's you know complete absence of fear and you know not not worrying so much about you know am, am I going to mess up? Am I going to do this that? Like we can just go out there and not have to think about very much, but just play play free and, and have fun. So I think that's the the biggest difference. We've heard some talk about Lenoris kind of making an early impression. Mm -hmm. Just what's stood out to him as a freshman to you as a more veteran guy? Yeah. I mean, he just – he just every day he comes in and just puts his head down and works, whether that be coming in early to get extra, um, you know, extra reps in the film room or, you know, coming back up, you know, after, after practice during the evenings with me and, and going through it. Um, just his willingness to, you know, kind of do the extra things and the things that – uh, you know, people don't really see, um, you know, that, that's kind of, that's kind of what stood out to me and, um, kind of reminded me of myself when I came in, just the, the drive that he had or that he has to, um, just to learn, to get better and to do the things out there on the field that, that are going to set him apart. Um, that's, that stood out to me and I'm, I'm extremely proud of him and, you know, all that he's done so far since he's got here. Um, and he's just going to continue to get better, um, and I'm going to do everything I can to help him do that as well. Luke, you joked about being here forever, it feels like. <laughs> in, in quarterback play especially, a lot of guys transfer if they haven't gotten a start. What made you want to come back and stay, especially with Spencer returning? Yeah, I think uh, it kind of goes back to, um, you know, when I, was being, when I was being recruited, my parents always told me that, um, if, if you take football out of it, would you still want to go to the school? Would you still want to be in this, you know, in this city, in the state, town? Um, all those little things, would you enjoy it without playing football there? And my answer has always been yes for here. So um, regardless of the, the quarterback situation or, or anything going on, um, I know that this is where I need to be. This is where I want to be. Um, and it's, it's always going to be home for me. So um, you know, I was I was fired up that Spencer was coming back as well as, you know, Juice and all of our receivers and a lot of other guys. Um, you know, I was I was excited because that's, you know, another year that, you know, we can put together something special um, and go out, go out every single Saturday and, and really show the world and show the nation that, you know, we belong up there at the top and we belong, um, you know, in those big time games and, and playing, you know, these big time teams. You mentioned Spencer a second ago. What were your conversations like with him when he was making a decision and kind of where were you when you found out he was going to be back for another year? Yeah. Um, I think we talked a little bit about it during the bowl game. He said he was going to, you know, maybe take some some time off, think about it. Um, but I think everybody kind of knew when we came back um, for, you know, the first part of winter workouts um, and he was right there leading the pack. 
Um, so I think everybody kind of figured it out then before he even made, you know, his decision or made the announcement that um, he was going to come back and, and continue to, to put together, you know, something special that we have here. So, uh, like I said, I was, I was fired up about it because I love him as a, you know, not only as a teammate, but as just, you know, a guy in the room that um, we can connect on, you know, certain things outside of the building. And um, we just, everybody's tight in that room. And I, th I think that's going to, you know, contribute to our success throughout the year. Luke, a little bit like what Colin was asking. I mean, Coach Loggins has talked a lot about how impressed he's been with you over the off season. Coach Beamer talked about it last year, considering Spencer coming in. I mean, like, there's a lot of guys that wouldn't have stuck this out um, when a guy like Spencer comes in. I mean, for you, I guess, where does that kind of selflessness come from? Why do you feel like you've been able to do that and, and take on that and, and sort of be sort of that teammate throughout yeah. all of this? I think it just goes back to being a, a team first kind of guy. Um, I've always, you know, I, I've been saying this for as long as I've been here. Um, you know, just in my freshman year, going back and forth between wide receiver and quarterback, um, you know, to my sophomore year getting hurt um, and having, you know, surgery on my foot um, and going through all that stuff, you know, not being able to play, not being able to be out there with my guys. Um, to, you know, last year coming back, being healthy again and um, backing Spencer up and doing some other things like in the bowl game on special teams. Um, you know, just kind of being – I, I, I want to go back to the, the injury. I think that kind of put things in, into perspective for me that, you know, all this can be taken away in the, in the snap of a finger. And, you know, it's that kind of humbled me a little bit, brought me back down to earth. And, um, you know, it, I, I don't come in here – every single day not, you know, being thankful for the opportunity that I have just to be here. Because a lot of people, a lot of people don't get that. A lot of people, you know, come, a lot of guys come out of high school and that's it. You know, they're done. They come, they come to college and they just go to class. But, you know, me and my teammates, we all, we get to do this. It's not something we have to do. We just, we get to. Um, so I think that, that really, you know, kind of changed my mindset on things that, you know, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, you know, as long as I'm doing something for the team and to better the team, it's good for me. And that's always, you know, the approach that I'm going to take, um, whether, you know, I'm out on the field, whether Spencer's out on the field, uh, Tanner Bailey, you know, anybody, uh, I'm going to be right there behind them. You know, I'm going to have their back and I'm going to do everything I can to, uh, to help get us to where we need to be. Luke, well, I know not just yourself, but that quarterback room from two years ago knows better than anyone just the, the fact that you're only one play away. Yeah. So I bring that up just because I know when you've said it many, many times, you know, you'll do whatever mm -hmm. you can to help the team. And as cliche as that sounds and putting that to the side, were there any conversations about playing a different position? And was your heart just set on playing quarterback heading into the season? Um, you said at the end of the season or like coming into this yeah. just in general? Um, not really. I mean, I think it, it was all, it's always been understood that, um, you know, I'm going to be in that quarterback room, you know, before anything else. But if the time does come that, you know, I might need to go do something else, then I think everybody in the building knows that, you know, I'm, I'm more than willing to do it. So I think it kind of goes back to, you know, the bowl game. Coach Limbo came up and asked me, you know, one practice, like, hey, what do you think about playing special teams? And I was like, hell yeah, let's go. So I think it just, depending on what the situation is, um, you know, they know that, that I'm down to do whatever. Luke, you got a ton of new faces offensively through the portal, through no these in early enrollees. Who are some of the guys through the first couple of weeks of meetings and practices that have really kind of caught your eye? Man, I mean, there's – from offensive line to receiver, I mean – Running back too. I mean, Trey Knox. Um, Trey Knox, I think, is is the main one that stood out to me, uh, just in the way that the way that he comes in every single day and works. Um, what he does on the you know on the practice field in the meeting room, he brings a lot of experience um, and just really really just a hardworking guy, um, not afraid to speak up and and you know kind of get people in line, but. Um, yeah, I mean, he's he's been awesome for us. Like I said, just with the experience that he has, um, I think that's going to go a long way and help us out. Um, Nick Gargiulo from uh, from Yale Center. Um, I mean, he's just he's a dog. I mean, that's the pretty much the only way I, I know how to put it. I mean, 
the kid works his ass off every single day in the weight room, meeting room, um, and out there on the practice field. There's never, you know, a time where you see him on film loafing or, you know, kind of taking a rep off or anything like that. He's always he's always playing to the whistle um, and doing everything he can to, uh, you know, to help move that line. Um, Mario at running back, he's been awesome. Uh, you know, just seeing him and his the power that he runs with, uh, he definitely runs behind his pads. And, you know, we could tell the, the other day we put pads on for the first time and, you know, he was one of the main ones getting right up in there and, um, you know, really, really laying the, laying the noise and, you know, bringing the boom. So that was good to see. Um, but, I mean, we like you said, we got a lot of new faces, uh, a lot of new guys, and, um, you know, they're all going to be put in positions to, you know, help them succeed and to help us, you know, go out there and win on Saturdays. Luke, so I got to ask, are we going to see you, like, returning kicks again this year? Or, I mean, has that been? <laughs> we'll see, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll, Pete will have to holler, or Coach Limbo will have to holler at me, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go from there, but we'll see. <laughs> Sweet. Y'all have a good one.